Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be asking the question, out of all the bromeliads, are these the least popular? So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun. And why don't we find out if this is the least popular bromeliad? So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you with us. If you like what you see, could you do me a favor and hit that like button down there? And why don't you become a member of our bromeliad family and become a subscriber? Thanks a lot. Now let's get to today's video. So, okay guys, we're going to be asking the question today and having a little bit of fun with it too. Is this the least popular type of bromeliad? Now, this is a Talansia. Talansia is the largest family or genus of all bromeliads. It has the most individual species in it. But I'm gonna tell you, and the reason that I'm doing this is I've had about three or four, maybe more, videos on Talansias. Now people call them air plants and you know what? They don't get a heck of a lot of views. So today I'm going to be making a case one more time for what I think is really a very versatile type of bromeliad and that is an air plant. But what I would like you to do is I would like you to leave some comments below. Let me know. Let's have some fun with this. Tell me what you think about air plants. Tell me what you think about Talansias, whether you like them or you don't. And everything is fine. It's fair game. But list it down in the comments because I would like to know what it is. So I'm going to make my case one more time. And I'm going to show you guys why I think Talansia is a very versatile family of bromeliads. So why don't we have some fun and, and I'm going to go take a tour and make my case. Okay, I'm still going to try and plead my case, guys, because I think that uh, the Talansias are really, really collectible. Take a look at this one. This is called Talansia Majestic, and look at that beautiful red inflorescence on this. And here is another really beautiful inflow. Now this is old. Imagine what it looked like a couple weeks ago. And um, this is an unnamed Talansia. It's out here in uh, the Shade House. This is where they take Talansias from and uh, make arrangements. So sometimes they don't have tags, but take a look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then you get beautiful color like this. This is Talansia capitata peach. And you can see that it's already had an inflow, but take a look at the really, really nice color that you can get on uh, the foliage of some of your Talansias. And you really don't need to have an inflorescence. This is called Funkiana. This Talansia almost looks like small conifers, doesn't it? And this is nice even in a hanging basket. It's got some nice architecture and I like that silver green color on it. Okay, so here's another example of some really, really nice color. And a lot of Talansias do get a very colorful inflorescence. Sorry, I don't know what this one is. I'm gonna try and flesh it out because I'm here uh, at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida. And this is a uh, part of a um, living log and that this is hanging and there's other stuff on it too. There's some orchids. And if you look down there, you can see some Spanish moss. Ah, guess what guys? Spanish moss, it's a Talansia. So here's another beautiful example of a Talansia inflow. This is called Talansia Super Steve. That indicates that this is a hybrid. Yep, they're hybridized just like any other genera of bromeliads. And take a look at that really cool silver color that you can get along with that uh, inflow. 
and I'm a big fan of architecture in addition to color and this is a very mature and old clump of Tillandsia duradii. And I'm going to zoom on in here and show you the really cool architecture of the leaves of this fairly mature clump of Tillandsia. Now this is Tillandsia xerographica and I want to show you how well they go with other plants and look at this dendrobium and the color almost is highlighted by this really cool silver Tillandsia. And Tillandsias almost out of all the bromeliads really do look better when they are in a clump. And look at this. This is the same um, Xerographica. And take a look. This is a Tillandsia called Herisii. This um, is a clump. Remember that, yes, they're bromeliads. And not all of the Tillandsias but most of the Tillandsias do get offsets, so you always get more plants. And the beauty is, is that this will grow just like most of the Tillandsias very well uh, without any uh, substrate or pot. As a matter of fact, you can't put them in a regular potting mix because they will rot. Um, these are totally epiphytic. Now, not all Tillandsias are, but most are. And that makes them a really good choice uh, for growing in areas where you can't put a pot or water. And that makes them one of really the most versatile bromeliad families. So this is Tillandsia cobra. It is pretty big. I have to admit it's bigger than a lot of the uh, Tillandsias that you might come in contact with. You can see that that is, I think that's about an eight inch terracotta pot. Um, the sun is now coming up and take a look at that foliage reflecting the light. And of course, probably one of the larger inflows that you're going to see on Tillandsias. This is another larger Tillandsia. It's a Fabulata hybrid. And it has a totally different kind of inflorescence. Now we had a hurricane brush past us last week and wouldn't you know it, that's when I wanted to um, record this guy because the inflorescence was actually a reddish pink so it's faded a little bit but it's got some nice architecture and this is in I think probably that's a seven or eight inch uh, terracotta pot and you can see it's one of the larger Tillandsias. So I'm a real big proponent on uh, having our plants inside why should they just stay outside and guys you know you can grow all your bromeliads inside we do have a video on that but take a look at how cool this looks with this huge cattleya orchid flanked by these two uh, bromeliads so if you live in a temperate zone if you don't live in a frost free zone Tillandsias are small enough that they make uh, it really easy to bring architecture and color inside. Now one good thing about Tillandsias is that they have such a varied array of foliage architecture. This is Tillandsia andreana and take a look it just looks really really cool. Um, really a lacy kind of foliage and a totally different kind of architecture and these are Tillandsia van Heningii. and this is Tillandsia ionantha now this is a small Tillandsia I'm sorry about the jerkiness here I'm gonna put my hand down and as you can see this is not a very big plant but take a look they're about ready to come into anthesis and take a look at that color that they're starting to get 
Now this is one of my favorites. This is Tillandsia Tectorum and gee whiz, take a look at how shiny they are. Now those are because of uh, little structures called trichomes that um, will absorb water. That's one cool thing about Tillandsias. Um, but think about having something like this on an arrangement. And here's a really good example how well Tillandsias go with other plants. This is an older arrangement. You can see it in the blue pot there. And take a look at the Tillandsias growing in here. I'm going to bring it on over here and take a look. And it really looks cool. Tillandsias are really, really versatile. So have I convinced you guys yet? Or is this still the least popular genus of all bromeliads? I'll let you decide. So, okay, guys, that's it. I've had some fun, and I hope you have too, but I'm kind of serious. I like Tillandsias. I think air plants are a very versatile type of bromeliad. But what do you think? And I want to know what you think, and here's how you can let me know and leave some comments down below. And it's all fair game. If you like them, tell me why. If you don't like them, tell me why, and let's have some fun with it. So, no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you and I need to keep growing and have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.